And we're back on uh, The Morning Brew, Larry Ahrens, and I'm delighted that uh, Aaron Muffaletto has come back to the show for today to fill in for Amber. For one day only. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. You're looking fabulous. Oh, thank Everything's you. Everything's going well for you. Going good. Yeah. Just keep it busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you don't know, Aaron hosted the show with me for uh, the better part of a year. So yep. well, it's all coming back to you now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I've, I've also, a real pleasure to welcome our next guest. He is a very experienced uh, filmmaker. Uh, graduate of the UCLA School of Film, and uh, he is uh, out with a brand new production called uh, The Odd Way Home. I want you all to meet uh, filmmaker, writer, and director uh, Rajiv Nirmala Khandan. How are you? Good. Thank you uh, for having me. Thank nice you for being here. You. Good to have you here. Your new film is called The Odd Way Home, and we're going to see a clip in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, give us the background on this production and how long it took you to make it? Well, I, I did a documentary a few years ago uh, in Houston on families with autism, and I was asked by a colleague to go out, and I kind of went with a blank slate, didn't really have any preconceived ideas. And I met families with children of different ages and economic backgrounds who had children with autism. And uh, it was an incredible, touching experience. You know, I had seen these children in a whole new way. And the one thing that united all of them was they had this spirit, this kind of this energetic joy, because they didn't, they weren't hampered down with the title of autism. They were just living life. Yeah. And so I, upon completing that project, you know, it was just sticking in my head, you know, and I wanted to tell a story with someone with autism. I wanted to share what I learned and experienced doing this documentary uh, to the world. And I'm from New Mexico. I live in Las Cruces, so I love this state. So I wanted to do a road trip movie, which I love road trips. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the female character is a really challenged and, and uh, broken character. Mm. And so I, I kind of put everything I learned in LA, my love for New Mexico and autism, and came together. And there you go. We're wow. going to see a clip of uh, the odd way home right now. Let's have a look. Maps tell us nearly everything. I'm Duncan. Nice to meet you. Where are you going? I don't see angry very well. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is Duncan. He's your son. How do you think Duncan feels? He doesn't feel. He doesn't know any better. Quit fooling yourself. I don't know how to fit into a person's life. <laughs> Just right, Duncan. That's good. Has anybody ever told you that you're different? Not so different. You have to take me hey! to work! Don't ever have paper towels here. I'll have to get you something. Hey, Daddy's gone. Dad? I think you're right. I think she likes me. That man buried me in this life! I'm sorry that your life doesn't mean that much to you. It's OK. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Don't go. Uh-oh, Maya! I have to make a sandwich. Can you please take me yeah. back home? Hey, stop the car! <laughs> Rumor Willis is Bruce Willis's daughter, right? Yes. She yeah. looks fantastic in this. And Chris Marquette, he's been in a ton of movies. So it's a lot of familiar faces, too. And for a small, well, documentary film, that's... Well, it's, it's a feature film, feature, not a documentary yeah. film. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes, it's Sorry. a narrative feature. Okay. Looks yeah. great. It Thank really you. Does. Where did you shoot it? We shot, I would say, 95% in New Mexico. We shot a lot really? in southern New Mexico, Las Cruces, Deming, Silver City. Then we went up here, we shot some stuff in Albuquerque, Española, and then we took this 2,000 mile road trip to get driving shots of the truck all the way to LA and back through, wow. yeah. So, but mostly here in the state. 
So how can people watch the film? So the film is going to be playing this Saturday at uh, the Al Albuquerque Film and Media Experience, and it's going to be 8 o'clock at the Chemo Theater. Um, I'll be there. A lot of the crew will be there. Uh, Veronica Cartwright, who is one of the actresses, she'll be there, and the producer will be there. So, you know, uh, we want to meet everyone that comes. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those movies that there are some tough, challenging moments, but there's so many moments of laughter. and. Um, when you watch this, you really feel like you're on a road trip with these guys. Yeah. So there's a lot of fun moments, and uh, I think if you're from New Mexico, you'll really appreciate it because you'll recognize so, many of, so much of the landscape. Yeah. You as the uh, producer and director of this, what's the message you, you're trying to give people about autism, and what's the takeaway? So what I wanted to sh say is really, when you have autism or any mental um, debility, it doesn't mean you have to be cloistered away and cut off from the world. You know, they could really have a profound impact on somebody else. In the film, even though Duncan has autism, he saves Maya. You know, she's in such a bad place in her life, and his perspective and his vision of the world kind of gives her the opportunity to see a whole new potential. So just because someone has autism, I don't want people to think, oh, they have autism, let's put them over there. Uh, because they can very much be a part of society and uh, really touch people. Yeah. And um, I also saw that this film will be on Netflix as well. It's actually going to be, uh, it's on iTunes right now. Okay. So you go to iTunes. It's on all the VOD platforms, DirecTV, Comcast, and all those. And then it'll go to Netflix and Amazon streaming, and slowly we'll get it out. And, you know, we don't have a huge marketing budget, so everything yeah. we have to do is to get the word out is social media, coming on your show, getting friends and family, and really to get it out there. And so far from the screenings we've had, um, the audience reaction has been, you know, pretty amazing. So. And you know, last we week was the, um, the feature, and you had premiered it in LA, right? We How had the premiere that? on Friday, and uh, that was great. It was a surreal experience. Uh, we had the red carpet, we had the photographers, all the actors showed up, we had a full house, and the audience just loved the film. And uh, it was just so special. You know, yeah. it was one of those moments that you, you want it, you, and then when it happens, it's like, oh my god, wow. Yeah. So, so you're screening the film premieres in that various screenings. Where do you sit in the theater to watch? It's, it's really random, but I like to sit a little bit in the back because uh -huh. kind of to gauge how the audience is reacting. Yeah. And it's amazing to hear the ripple of laughter or the dead silence do, during the really emotional scenes mm -hmm. and the sighs of relief after certain scenes. So that's, um, it's, just, it's just so cool to experience uh, I'll that. Bet. Yeah. I'll bet. Well, I'll bet. Go ahead, Aaron. Well, uh, do people need to pre-purchase their tickets for this Saturday? They could, they could um, go to the Chemo website and buy a uh, ticket. They also sell it at the door, but uh, we have really no idea exactly how crowded it's going to be, so we recommend buying it ahead of time. Yeah. And uh, it, should, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, just the preview alone, it's I mean, very, it is it's very, very Thank well you. produced film, yeah. and wow, just Thank the you. whole film looks amazing. N so. Not only do you do that, but you teach this as well. You have a yeah. I teach at uh, the Creative Media Institute in Las Cruces. Wow. And uh, I've been there since uh, '07. I teach uh, editing and documentary filmmaking, cinematography, and so. Uh, and a lot of the crew on the film were students from the program and graduates from the program. So these are all native New Mexicans or people who have moved here who got the opportunity to work on this. So it was uh, it was almost like a little family. You know, we had wow. such a good time and uh, totally dedicated and you know the, the the actors who came in from out of town were impressed at the professionalism and dedication that these these guys put into the making of it well, we're gonna have to get you to albuquerque more and maybe get you to do some classes up here <laughs> I, I love it i mean i love it up here so yeah totally yeah wow. wow this is great it's called the odd way home uh, you can see it at the albuquerque film and media experience and uh, what day are you screening this again? Saturday. Saturday. Very good. And, and this is actually part of a whole slew of other films as well, right? Yeah. Yes. So people can buy packages exactly. if they would and like to as well. you'll be hanging well. out with the other filmmakers. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it's going to be great to meet everyone that comes and yeah. kind of talk and interact.
And so. I think that's one of the great things about checking out the film Saturdays. They get a, an opportunity to talk with you and mm -hmm. uh, ask about your experiences. So yeah, I, I have awesome. one more question uh, okay. about this whole business. The creative side is amazing, and d the process of making this. How about the business side of the, the, uh -oh. the film industry? <laughs> that's the, that's the hard part, isn't it? I, yeah, I feel like I've learned um, making the film is 50% of the battle. Yeah. Right. The next 50% is the marketing, getting it out there, pushing it, getting people to see it. Right. Because Making a buck or two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there's so many films and you have to somehow rise out uh, from the rest. Yeah. And so far, I mean, we've got great reactions. So hopefully people watch it, tweet it, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll try to help with that myself. Yeah, so. me too. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Rajiv. Looks great amazing. to meet you. Uh, Congrats great to on your, your Thank you. Your Thank your you. Success. Rajiv Nirmala Khandan with us today. Uh, the filmmaker behind the film, uh, The Odd Way Home. Very impressive. The Morning Group continues in just a second.